In this video, I'm going to show you how to start a project using a legal plan like this. Do your site layout and print it on a custom paper size with appropriate scale factor. Instead of creating a paper for a, at a size and a scale, I'll just import this legal plan as a photo. So you can see that I'm just going to navigate to my photos and I'm going to bring this in to the project as a background. And the next thing I would do here is just to calibrate it. And what we'll do here is since this is a metric based legal plan, so we can see from this point to this point, I have 97.45. So I'm going to swap from imperial to metric and um, I'm just going to put in 97.45. I, I understand this photo is a little bit skewed, so this is approximate. And uh, for the sake of scaling this, this is what we'll use. Ideally, we can get things a little bit more straightened up before we bring the photo in, but this is totally fine. So I'm gonna hit on the check mark to calibrate this scale. And now if I bring up my ruler and let's just do a quick verification and I'm gonna point this corner to this corner and it's about this, this length. And I think from the photo and the drawing that you uploaded on school, you're, you're mainly focused in this area and my understanding is you're also interested in the other lots in this legal plan. So let's just go ahead and demo this area first. So what I would do right now is you can see in the base photo that it comes with a layer. And this base layer is actually exactly in the same size as the layer as you have. But just to maintain sort of a high drawing quality and to get as much resolution as, as we can in this area, what I'll do is instead of using this layer that covers the entire page, what I'll do is I'll just zoom in to the area where most of the design and the layout is gonna be focused. So it looks like it's about in this quadrant right here. So what I'll do is I'll build a new layer and I'll actually just uh, make it orange. So it's clear that this new layer only covers about this top left quadrant. Let me go ahead and select black color. We're gonna build just like a new quadrant for you so everything is straightened up. And looking at your drawing on my computer, things are denoted actually in feet. So here what I'll do is I'm going to switch over from metric to imperial in the units. So by doing this, you can see my my ruler right now has just switched from meters to, to feet. So it looks like on this top left quadrant, you have about a 50 by 50 box for, for like a like a one bedroom or studio. And it looks like the actual condition space. This one bedroom is actually about this big. It looks like you have a car garage and something over here. And then this is sort of the your shaded space. I think you have some sort of fill area. And then this is like a center island. And then there is a, is a path to bring the car through. You also got like a little I guess a little house over here. And then there's a little bit of shaded area here. And then there's a bit of vegetation, looks like. And then there is a, a road that connects here to here. Okay, almost there. And um, just add a little bit of a thicker line just to indicate that this is, these are buildings. So this is pretty much your layout, just in black and white. You had colored in some of the some of the vegetations and the living spaces. So if this is what you're hoping to export to a paper size at a scale, um, this is what I would do next. So I am actually going to go to the export button and then I'm going to hit on the PDF and then go to my layers. So you'll see all the layers that are currently turned on in the project are going to be shown as a single layer. And the layer that we are interested in exporting is, is not this overview legal plan. It's not this blank layer that's turned on. We can actually just turn this off. It's actually this paper size. And since we don't really know how this is going to fit on a paper size, this is the best way just to find out. So it looks like you are trying to get it to 
to print on the eight and a half by 11 letter size. So that's what I'm gonna select as my paper size. And this is the print scale. So here I'm going to I'm going to try a few things. So it looks like you want to plot it out on metric. So let's see how this looks like on a one to five hundred scale. So that seems too small to fit on this later size paper size. So what if it's instead of white one to five hundred, if it's one to two hundred? And let's hit on that check mark. So it looks like on eight and a half by 11, one to 200 fits this kind of a layout in just this quadrant pretty well. And we can double tap with our finger and hold to move this drawing. If you want to center it more, if you want to move it to the side a little bit more, this is what we can do with a double tap and hold. So if you wanted to print that out on a title block or just on out at a home printer, this is what this will look like on eight and a half by 11. But you can also just try different paper size. So maybe, you know, on 11 by 17 at one to 200, this would take up this much room. And at one to 500, it would be even less. If you also want to show this legal plan more zoomed out, like on a higher level, so you can see kind of the layout in all these quadrants that you might end up developing. So maybe that's three, two, one. Those are their own unit and their own property line. What I would suggest doing here is if that's the level of detail that you wanna show, you can also just see at what scale and what paper size will fit this entire legal plan. So similarly, what I would do is I'm going to find a paper size. So if we wanted to stick with an eight and a half by 11, let's see, maybe one to 500 is not going to fit everything in here. One to 1000 may, will fit, but it looks a little bit, you know, just there's a lot more white space than we need it. So maybe if we just up our paper size to, you know, 11 by 17, which is also a pretty common size to print at home. And if we go to one to 500, and it looks like 11 by 17 at one to 500 scale, this actually fits this paper size pretty well. So if I, you know, went back, and if I did a better layout, if I used this layer, this second layer that came with the project, if I used this layer to to redraw, let me just uh, pick a thicker line. If I use this layer to redraw my legal plan a little bit nicer, and we actually made everything orthogonal and and everything is to scale, and let's just pretend this is our larger legal plan. And if we were to, let me just go ahead and turn off, we can turn off this layer when we export it. We can actually go to the same export setting, go to the layers, and now you'll actually see this legal plan as its own kind of a diagram. So similarly, we would go to one to 17. That's what previously fitted on one to 500 scale. And if we just made sure these two settings are the same, then this legal plan will be able to be exported to a PDF this scale. So this is this is how I would do this thing that you're describing. And it's just a lot easier if you bring in the photo first, calibrate it and and build your trace paper on top of it and experiment with the paper size and scale factor when you export it, as opposed to doing, I guess the reverse of what you wanted to do is to create the paper size, assign the scale to it, and then see what will fit. So hopefully this clarifies things and you can actually use this workflow for, for this project.